Well, I know this is not the norm, and you guys were expecting an Apex Aim Training video, I thought I'd put a wrench in the works and change it up a little bit. For a game that I was not too impressed with at first, being that the movement was clunky and the gunplay wasn't just there yet. But recently, after giving the game another try with their most recent beta, it was clear to me that this game had something special, which I'll go more in depth with in another video. But for now, I'll give you the bullet points. They ironed out the movement and it's as smooth as butter. The gunplay feels absolutely amazing and the majority of the matches that I've played were not only fun, but also very engaging all the way up to the last minute, which is a sharp contrast to the slow buildup of battle royales. And let's face it, MMR in Apex Legends has right now been chasing a lot of players away, especially those that are playing on MK. So today, I'm going to go over the routine that I used while in the beta test, and will also be viable at launch as well. This will help you understand the weapons you are using, to train and increase accuracy with them, and most importantly, to warm up because this game goes from 0 to 60 instantly, and the last thing you want to do is be stiff and tense when you start a match. But before we get started, I gotta ask you guys for one gigantic favor, and that is to smash that like button if this video helped you out in some way, shape, or form. It's a small button for you, but it means the world to me and has a huge impact on the placement of this channel and the algorithms. Also, if you want more aim training and theory videos on Apex and as well as the finals now, don't forget to hit that notification button and subscribe. All right, let's get started. The first thing I like to do when I play any FPS is to make sure I warm up my ability to center and maintaining it on the target. This will help your eyes understand what they're looking for and what they should be focusing on, as well as excluding from all the materials and the debris from this hectic environment. For the entirety of this exercise, we'll be going in and out of ADS to also get a feel for centering while hip firing. We will start with long strays from the left to the right, about a second each, moving from close to far ranges as well as throwing jumps and crouches into the mix. This is to simulate our movements in a real engagement, helping us maintain the target through a variety of distances and directions. Do this for two and a half minutes. Now for the next part, we're going to do the exact same things as the first, but now we'll be maintaining a moving target to add a layer of difficulty in order to simulate real player movement. Do this for two and a half minutes. Before we move to the next exercise, we'll first Choose a weapon in class that we want to train. Unlike Apex, where the weapons you receive are at random in the beginning, the finals provides you with a class and weapon of your choice at the start of each match. So mastering one weapon for each class, light, medium, and heavy, should be a goal for most players looking to improve. For now though, let's just keep things fun and simple. Please choose the class and the weapon that you enjoy the most. When you find this weapon, go to your closest wall, just like this, stand still, and fire the entire mag at the wall while trying to manage the recoil. Do this again for two and a half minutes. Once you have a rough idea of the recoil direction, I want you to stray from left to right while again trying to manage that recoil. Do this too for two and a half minutes. When that's done with, let's start with our third exercise by taking what we've learned from the recoil of the gun and trying to one mag the two dummies you see in front of you. Eliminate 20 dummies before moving on to the next exercise. For this next part of the routine, we will turn our sights to the moving target. Standing close to the yellow barrier, we will proceed to one clip the closest moving dummy while anti-mirroring the target. This means we'll be strafing in the opposite direction of the opponent, thus making us harder to hit, as well as possibly forcing the opponent to aim in an awkward position, being that most average players like to utilize mirroring by maintaining the reticle in the center of the screen and mimicking the opponent's movement to essentially track the target. By moving away from their strafe pattern, you'll be putting pressure on their ability to dynamically track in order to keep the reticle on you, what I want you to do is one clip 20 targets before moving on. For the next exercise, we'll be moving back to the edge of the black mat and utilizing the same techniques from the previous exercise, but this time we'll be adding a form of cover into the environment. Every time we eliminate the target, crouch and use the provided cover to break the opponent's line of sight. Once you've successfully reloaded the gun, proceed to stand up and eliminate the target while anti-mirroring. One clip 10 targets before moving on. Finally, our last exercise in the lineup will have a combination of movement, target acquisition, and tracking. Grab your favorite weapon and get to the roof of the building. Now, in order for us to have a detailed understanding, I'm going to break this technique down into steps. First, start by sprinting, then sliding, jumping, 
acquiring your target, then centering it while in hip fire. When the target is centered, aim down sights and hose that dummy down. Now I know this sounds like a complicated process, but once you've got this down smooth, you will not only be agile, but will be more accurate and extremely hard to hit. Because unless you are in the heavy class, if you do not get that first shot on the opponent, the likelihood of you surviving that engagement drops significantly. So with that being said, if you are an aggressive player, I would prioritize this exercise over any of the ones I've mentioned in this video. One click 20 targets to complete this exercise and routine. Now before I wrap this all up, I want to let you guys know that I made this video before the final build of the game. There will be another iteration to this video in the following weeks just to give me enough time to get a feel of the weapon mechanics as well as any changes to the aim and movement tech after release. Also, I'll be creating a Kovacs playlist for you guys with all the exercises I believe will greatly enhance your in-game aim. Being that the finals uses hit scan rather than projectiles, it'll make the transfer of skill between both aim trainer and game incredibly easy, allowing us to reap all the benefits of the skill acquired while aim training. Anyhow, I feel like I'm going on a tangent now. I could talk about this game and how great it is for hours on end, but the only way to do it justice is for you to try it yourself. If you love Apex, the movement of Apex, but feel like you're being handicapped just for using a different input, please, I cannot recommend this game enough. I hope this video helped you guys out in some way, shape, or form, and if it did, please drop a like. It has a huge impact on this channel and the YouTube algorithm, allowing more people to see my videos, thus allowing this channel to grow. Also. If you guys want to see more aim training and theory videos for the finals, and yeah, also Apex, I'm not leaving that behind, trust me. Don't forget to hit the notification button. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me, and I'll see you next time. Peace.